As promised in this video, we're going to be showing you a slideshow comparison of editing results from each of the top five raw editors from the previous video. The objective of this is to allow you to be the final judge on which raw editor is the best. Before we go on to the comparison, just a few notes. As always, we venture to edit each image similarly, limiting the adjustment to just basic tone adjustments without resorting to elaborate color or local adjustments to give an apples to apples comparison on the performance of each raw editor out of the box. Do note though that unlike in previous years, this round, we've taken the step to perform a denoising operation across all high ISO images so you can pay more attention to more important aspects of the adjustment, like the colors, contrast, sharpness, rather than get distracted by the unsightly grain. Also, do note while I've utilized mostly global tone adjustment sliders to make the adjustments, the exceptions are for DxO Photolab 8, wherein I've relied more on smart lighting and the HDR backlighting correction preset, as I've outlined in this video, and which I find gives better results over fiddling with the selective tone panel. And on one Photo 2025, where for the most part, I've used Brilliance AI, which not only allows for a faster workflow, it also gives, to my eyes, the more pleasing results, even though it is an automated enhancement, as it nicely adds pop to on one's neutral looking, and some would say dull looking, processing. So without further ado, let's move on to the slideshow comparison. For the fun of it, and to avoid bias, I will not identify the raw editor during the slideshow. Instead, I'll do that at the end. Feel free to guess and see how well you know each raw editor. Now let's go on to the comparison.
So I hope you enjoyed the comparison. Which number gave the best results? Write it down in the comments. Let's reveal the identities of the raw editor used to process each image. Number one is On One Photo Raw 2025. Number two is DxO Photo Lab 8. Number three is Capture One Pro. Number four is Photomator for the Mac. And number five is Luminar Neo. Did you guess correctly? Which raw editor did you find gave the best results? Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.